I'm Alex Myers, I play guitar and back and forth. I'm Clayton Miles and I play the drums. I'm Wesley Berger, I uh, do a lot of things. No, I, uh, I sing, uh, I also play bass, and I'm actually our engineer right now. I'm Chris Klein and I play keys and sing backups and I write the majority of the material. About two, two and a half years ago, uh, Chris and I were at McNally Smith College of Music. Uh, Chris and I worked together in the, the cafeteria, and we didn't we didn't know each other real well outside of work. But uh, I had uh, to finish up my theory and or songwriting courses, and uh, as a drummer, I'm maybe not the most proficient on uh, melodic instruments. So I uh, and I knew Chris was a composition major, so I said, "Hey, man, can can, can you help me out? Can we write some tunes together?" You see, <laughs> so uh, <laughs> so we went over to his apartment a couple afternoons, nights, and just started. Right, and then, then Chris he has a was, beautiful singing voice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We like what we came up with, so we said, let's let's try to make this into something. Let's let's get some some people together and, and jam it out and see what happens and go from there. Chris and I worked together, and we joked around a lot because we worked those shitty early morning shifts. Uh, <laughs> sorry, bleep that out. Um, <laughs> and he was like, "Hey, I heard you sing the other day. It was really good." And I'm terrible with compliments, but he's like, "No, I mean, come over. Let's hang out sometime. Like, I write songs, and you should sing some stuff." And so. We uh, sang and eventually recorded the first demo of a song of ours called You Ain't There, um, which is was for the longest time like the only male-led original that yeah. we played as a band. Uh, we actually had a lot of uh, female-led songs for a while. Um, but yeah, I mean, he we just did that song and he was like, hey, like I'm putting together this band. I think I came and played bass for you or something yeah. one day. And then, anyway, so I was in the band because I could play bass and I could kind of sing too and. I was doing recording stuff, you know, and so I, I, I was bringing a couple different things that we needed. I knew Clayton from St. Thomas, because you went there, what, two? I, I was there my freshman sophomore year. Yeah, and you and I worked together at the Music Research Center. So we did. You guys all know from the cafeteria, we were from a library, so. <laughs> um, and we would just talk about the craziest stuff, usually drummers, because, I mean, drummer, and I like drums. <laughs> and, as far as goes. Well, we kept in touch a little bit when he went over there, and... Um, I think I went to, or you had asked me, we need somebody to fill in or open for our band when we do acoustic mm -hmm. or electric sets, mm -hmm. and I hear you do both, yeah. and I said, yeah, I can do that. So we did a gig at Corner Coffee, and um, I stuck around and I'd never heard the band, so it was interesting. Um, I liked the sound, so I went back to what, four or five other shows after that. Mm -hmm. And then I ran into Clayton at the gym. We had at this point, we were going through through some expected and unexpected lineup changes, and and we're we're looking for a new guitarist. And yeah, we I had we no idea. Literally, <laughs> unexpectedly. We, we're, it was it's hard though, because how do you say like I wish we could find somebody like who is like all the rest of us, like Chris, like he writes and he plays and he sings. I like do all our recordings and I play and I sing. Jeans plays and like tackles like all of like our business and booking for the most part and like so like to say like you know we have these standards of finding another person who can fulfill multiple roles and so like Alex like um, like as someone who could play and sing was like fortunate but I'm and not gonna learn lie. super quick right and we were, we were like looking for people and we came up with this list of like three or four people we could ask and I was like I'm not gonna lie like I just don't think I like that Alex guy like <laughs> I, I didn't say that I didn't say that but I was like I just don't, I think that'd be really weird and then like I discovered that he was really, really weird, and that kind of helped him fit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wasn't weird enough. That was well, I, I didn't think you were weird enough. I just thought it was gonna be weird, and then like <laughs> you yeah, just, well, like, most, yeah, most shows up people. and like nails the songs. We take him in a small room with a bag over his head with a piano and start making him sing. 
not literally, but he starts singing and blends and sings, and that was awesome. And then he's like, oh, like, we, you should come hang out sometime. He starts hanging out, and we're all, like, laughing, quoting the same terrible TV shows and, like, geeking over the same music. <laughs> and, like, I just, I don't foresee us going through a change anytime soon, and if we had to, I don't foresee us surviving it. Because, honestly, with the caliber of people we have right now and the setup we have right now, like... It would be so hard to let go of the dynamic we're developing. It would be so like depressing to try and like take this mm. awesome thing we're finally starting to hone and to say, no, we have to break it up again, you know? And it's like, it's not that we couldn't make it, you know, based on like talent or anything like that. It's just like emotionally, it'd be so like so much exhaustion, you know? So this is, I mean, this is narrow vines. We are narrow vines. Most of the time, more often than not, I'll sit in front of a piano and do it, or there have been times. But like the last two, the last two songs now, I'll just be bored to tears at work, and then like all of a sudden I'll have to run to the bathroom and record. <laughs> I, he it. shows me, he whips out his phone because he didn't even have a smartphone at the time. Uh, gosh, I say that like it's a horrible thing, but yeah. <laughs> I know <laughs> first world problems. But like anyway, he has his flip phone. Yes, and he, he's like, you gotta check this out, and he like he'll play this little recording where he'll hit play and he'll just be like, <laughs> and then you'll hear him go. <laughs> like, Isn't that great? But then, like, I hear it, and I was like, song, I swear, and I'm here. like, yeah. And then he'll play like a few chords on the piano, and I'm like, oh. And then like, <laughs> oh, that's just like. Right. <laughs> well, and that's how, kind of how the process has been, especially since like we've been living together now, and uh, sorry, I'm doing just this. the two of us. Um, <sighs> Distracted me completely. Right? <laughs> Just the two. So, of us. <laughs> so we're living together, and so it's even easier to actually be like, "Hey, like, I have this new song. I really think like you need to sing it." I don't even need to say that anymore. I'm just like, hey, I have a new song. He's just, okay, I'm just saying. Or like, sure. what was that noise sure. last yeah. night? Oh, I wrote this thing uh, at 2 a.m. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> by the way. Yeah. But, and then I'll just kind of sing it to him and play it a little bit, and then he'll kind of be like, okay, just do it another time. And like, Can I do this here? Yeah, sure, that's fine. Yeah, just do that. And yeah, if Chris, kinda... didn't let me, if Chris didn't let me, like, rewrite <laughs> his melodies, like, by single notes in certain spots, like, I don't think I would have as much fun. Or, yeah, or if you don't just morph it a little bit. I don't think you would have as much fun. No, it wouldn't. It would be boring. <laughs> And the but dynamic is then, starting to shift a little bit, right? Just because I come from a very instrumental music right, background, right? Which is awesome, rock. Rock, because then, it's like, nice. all of a sudden, like, I was gone. I was in California this last weekend, and I get home, and Chris says, "Oh, Alex and I recorded yeah. a demo for a song." And yeah. I was like, "What?" Like, cause <laughs> that, cause we've never yeah. had, we've never had a dynamic or a group that like will like that'll know, push like, that'll, to do something. Yeah, else, like, and so. So we yeah. have this sweet things in the work right now where we started working with different time signatures and there's yeah. just like this recording of like Alex and Chris doing this multimeter like guitar and vocal thing and like I hope I hope yeah. that that's how like most of our next album yeah. is like yeah. is it's just it. like ideas like that. It makes me more excited for every song that well, when when everyone's you know? more involved oh, like yeah. you know and like and you get different perspectives of songwriting not just piano not just you know a groove you get the right. guitar and yep. the bass involved and you can start writing yeah. things from different yeah. vantage points i guess like, when I, all of us have like a certain piece of like like metal and like heavy rock and prog like in like some of our listening tastes and even in some of the groups we performed with before and so like somehow like we just haven't hit that point where we all decide, okay, let's just quit and be a metal band. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like we're like still wrapping ourselves in all these other like different like flavors, and I don't know. I think it's fun. It's challenging, you know. And admit defeat is one of those songs that like challenges a lot of different like forms of like performing and like music ability. I guess. So. Well, it's cool to see how everyone accepts it too, and who accepts it. Or, you know. Who actually gets into it? The different audiences we have right. coming because yeah, I know a lot of the people that are used to watching me play are like, he's right. gonna shred. Oh, it's rewind, like three part <laughs> harmony, and like you know, you disco and stuff. And I'm just like, it'll get there. We'll get to admit to it. Yeah. <laughs> but the only reason I think we haven't become a metal band is because we like Hanson and you know <laughs> Vanessa Carlton's and all the great poppy stuff. I uh, just had to say that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, the song rewind we did tonight, we um, it's actually what we're trying to call our single off of our album that is called Rewind. <gasps> First time anyone said yeah. it. <laughs> so, anyways, so the song is really, I mean, it's really poppy and happy sounding and whatever, but it's really just about actually being stuck in the past that you really hate and you remember everything every day and it's just kind of like, well, I'm always stuck there anyways, and even though it's a happy sounding song, but you're stuck there. Yeah, it's really. Yeah, so it's like. You gave him too much, man. You gave no, him too much. no, I didn't give him enough. <laughs> it's like, 
think about yeah like it's like a it's like a limbo you know Kinda, like yeah. where like you have to like wake up and like relive the same like memory every day mm, and like yeah. trying to trying to get away from that yeah. i think and you know like there's i don't know there's a part in the song where it, uh, what is it um I don't know, it hits this, like, climactic point, and then, like, this key change, and, like, I don't know, I've always felt that as kind of, like, a like a perspective shift, if yeah. that's accurate. Like, because, you know, like, it's kind of, like, being presented with this, but then, like, having to, like, accept it, and kind of, right. like, yeah. you know, it's, like, Conquer. it's yeah. just, like, your little... No, no control, controller. just accept it. <laughs> just accept it. Yeah. <laughs> Admit Defeat, I think, is seriously my favorite song that, like, I've been a part of. Uh, there's a part at the end where it shifts into a 5-4 time signature and it takes on what in my head was like the makings of some like prog metal kind of bridge of some sort and <laughs> Alex gets to shred and sweep around and his so he solos and it's different every time and I love it um, and yeah I mean that song is just like it kinda just hits hard from like even from the beginning you know it's so delicate dynamically but like immediately it just has this way of pulling people's attention and like I find that song yeah. more than anything. It's almost like, creepy. Because yeah, it just it just dark. starts like creeping in mm. and like especially different for rewind, you know, they kinda start mm. on the same feel but like just the attitudes, it really shows yeah. the darker side I think of us musically and like mm. I mean do you want to talk about like um content and, and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Well um admit defeat is kinda like, you know, like somebody um somebody I mean uh, originally a girl, so you could still play it off as a girl. Yeah, you can do that. Whatever. It does that a lot with pop music. Yeah. So you play, um, and it's basically a girl and a guy that is, you know, they're broken up, they're down and it's over, but he's still kind of, you know, still lingering on. He's still trying to push it. It's just like, you know, get over it. You're it's just, yeah, yeah, like when somebody it's needs to give up. Yeah, like, pretty much all it is. And then, you know, yeah. I don't know. I, everyone's, everyone's had that, like, relationship or seen someone in the end of a relationship where it's like oh yeah like well i was talking to so and so the other day and everyone in the room goes oh my god you know like yeah. why are you still <laughs> right. talking to them yeah. and it's just like like the people that really need yeah. to just give up and like let themselves go yeah. out of like a life you know or like let a situation right. just run its course instead of like right. constantly swimming upstream yeah. like god uh, this June, we're actually uh, releasing a new record, and it's our first full-length record that we've ever come out with, um, and it's it's almost entirely featuring our full new lineup. Uh, we had uh, some huge contributions from our uh, previous guitar player, who uh, he's living in Missouri now, um, and so otherwise it's like it's really music for all of us to like stamp our brand on and to say like, okay, this is what we want to be moving forward. Um, I guess like we don't want to say everything about it, uh, but the album is, it's going to be called Rewind, uh, which is named after one of the songs that we played tonight, and which is also going to be one of our sing uh, sorry, singles that comes out. Um, and all of like the, all of the recording, engineering, uh, and like design of the artwork and stuff was all done by us. Uh, our friend McCullough did audio mastering for us, and then uh, one of our friends Amanda Street did uh, photography, which is featured on all of our media and also in the package of the CD itself. Uh, but that's actually, that's releasing uh, in June and we're just like a few days away, I guess, for making an announcement. So I guess, I mean, it's probably pretty yeah. I mean, <laughs> well, yeah, so the show is, the actual release performance is uh, the 14th of June uh, and we're also kind of unofficially releasing it the day prior because we're uh, we're playing at the National Windsurfing Championship this year. Uh, they have a, like a few days of a music festival. Uh, it's called the Unvarnished Music Festival, and uh, we're returning there this year uh, with uh, like all of our new stuff in hand. And so yeah, June 14th is the official day. Um, I don't know. Everyone does that thing where they release stuff on like Tuesday. So like I don't think we're doing that. <laughs> but I don't know. I mean, but it'll be on iTunes, you know, with all of our other stuff. And we'll send out some free tracks ahead of time. Yeah, we have a, we actually have an email list, uh, which a lot of people, I don't know, th the only way we really get to people about that is live, you know, And but uh, the email list, we're actually trying to hook people up with tracks of the album before it releases, um, and so that's something we're trying to push right now. But yeah, I mean, it's just, it's really exciting because, like, we've been working on it for so long, and there's been so many road bumps, um, 
and just straight obstacles, you know, the whole way through it. But yeah, I mean, it's going to be a big summer for us and we're really excited for it to launch. Some of the most edifying moments we've had as a group is like spending time with people who really are behind us and really enjoy us and really support us and want something to do with our future. And so I guess our goal and our aspiration is to find more people like that and to give them as much of our attention and our talent like, as we possibly can because that's the stuff that makes it worthwhile. door close on you don't guilt me anymore like I'm used to cause I've been drugged and I've been cheated blinded by love but I don't need it don't let my crummy nails graze your cheek my dirty knife impales your back so sweet Like you've been drugged, like you've been cheated Misread by love, some misread reading Where will you and me defeat? So take a hand, take a hike, you don't sleep me Sour lips near my face Don't let your fingertips dare to escape So near my gut If you can't see that I have looked up 